So I, yeah, milk chocolate, I have just, milk chocolate, beauty. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an update on my Panda palette and this is the chocolate bar. So I'm panning this beast this year and if I'm going to say so myself, I think I'm doing pretty good. Consider it is Too Faced shadows and they have a, a reputation of being very dense and so on and very hard to pan in general and I'm just going to say now before I begin the update I have been sick for like two weeks so this is only um, two weeks progress because I have been sick with the flu everyone in Denmark has the flu right now stupid let me just show you where I was last update one month ago and in the end there will be progress pictures overall as always in my panda palette videos so last month i only had one pan and that was in creme brulee and i had some dips here and there in the other shadows huge dips in white chocolate milk chocolate and strawberry bonbon so this is where I am today and I'm very excited to say that I have four new pans but as I just said I had huge dips in three of the shades maybe even champagne truffle as well I can't really remember this update you can see there are dips and stuff like that in the other shades as well but that is mainly because I did a little experiment I wanted to do some Franken shadows and I wanted to mix and match them um, in one pan so I don't have to dip into several shades to get one eye look. That failed. I don't really mind because I really tried to make a shade for Gilded Ganache because I can't make that shade work and it frustrates me so much. So that has a dip now. But that is only for repressing. I tried to repress Gilded Ganache just as itself. You know, with itself. You get me. Because I have heard it turned more green. But it was Amber F that repressed Gilded Ganache and it, it became more green. But I believe she put something into it. Like an oil or something. I don't have that. And I'm not going to buy... A certain oil just so I can make gilded ganache work for me. If I can't make it work I'm not going to care because I'm sick and tired of making it work for me. So I will give it mo one more month so either I have found a way to use it or it will get tossed or not touched at all when I'm going to pan this. I'm just over that muddy not green shake. I made five so this top one here is Gilded Ganache and Creme Brulee because I have heard that would be a very good combination. I don't like it at all. This is Gilded Ganache by itself. This is Amaretto and Candied Violet. This is Candied Violet and Champagne Truffle and this is I believe Candied Violet and Creme Brulee. I don't like any of them. The one I like the most is actually Candid Violet and Amaretto because that makes a pretty purple shade with a little bit of burgundy in it so I'm not the biggest fan of it but I can make it work. When I mix Candid Violet and Creme Brulee or Candid Violet with Champagne Truffle I get a pretty taupe silver kind of color. Not my favorite. I'm not that into cool toned looks so it's very very hard to make those work for me. I did upload a get ready with me with a work appropriate smokey eye with a moretto for example. I really really like that look so I will keep panning a moretto that way. Um, I did like it. I believe I have a picture where I had candy violet on my eyelid and a moretto in the other corner. I really like that look as well so I think I will pan those two colors in those two looks. Um, creme brulee I just like all over the eye and on my lower lash line so that is how I'm going to pan those shades because 
nothing else works with those shades. So let me just take you shade by shade if I haven't done it already. Gilded Ganas we just talked about so I'm not going to explain more about that one. White chocolate I have a huge pan and a bit of hot pan but I'm setting my eyelid primer with this every single day, highlighting and clean up the mess around the eyeshadows and the edges and stuff like that. I have pan in milk chocolate, a uh, good pan actually, and it has a huge dip around the pan. So I'm very very happy about that. I have put it kind of a back burner here in February. Milk chocolate I have just used in the crease and on my lower lash line combined with strawberry bonbon down here which I have also hit pan on and that has a huge dip around the pan as well. Black Forest Truffle I have only played with once I think. Trouble Fudge I have began to use in my outer arch thingy of my eyebrow and I really really like that because then it's like an ombre and in general I like dark brows so I don't really mind it so I think I will use that for a liner or eyebrows and if I'm going really really brown smoky eye I use it in my under corner I have done this that once I believe in my prior videos this month so that has a tiny 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 dip um, you can kind of see where I have dipped in my brush so salt to caramel I have used this past week a lot um, because I have done this soft um, eye look and I adore salt to caramel I'm so happy to be using this again because I have been very tired of the smoky looks so I have done this a lot lately and then I have put marzipan all over the lid so those two shades still have um, a dent in it but nothing massive progress Semi-sweet, I can feel the dip, um, but I don't think you can see anything different about that shade. Candy Violet and Amaretto has some dips in them, um, but that is mostly because of the Franken shadow. But I did use them one week here in February with those two together. Hazelnut, I have used like for three times or so all over the lid combined with salt to caramel and milk chocolate and stuff like that. Very very pretty. Creme brulee I have used like once <laughs> and hot chocolate I have used once maybe so you can't see any progress and cherry cordial I have used a lot in my outer corner combined with semi sweet so that has a small 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 dent as well but nothing major you can see on camera. Champagne truffle you can see a dip in the right side of it where I have taken some to repress and it has formed a very huge dip and that is where I focus my brush right now to create my inner corner highlight and I have used it a few times on my cheekbones so that is very very exciting that is kind of my update on this palette a few times I have incorporated my um, NYX brights bright eyes palette for some color and you have seen that in some videos this month that I have really missed some color and I did use some uh, some pink shades in that palette combined with champagne truffle just so I could get a soft valentine pink look that I really really like though so maybe I will share that with you guys if you're interested but that is also how I hit pan on champagne truffle and that was actually with that look. So now I'm going to show you the few looks I have remembered to take pictures of this month. I haven't been that good at doing it the first month. I will try to be better at sharing what looks I have been wearing and if you want me to create or recreate some of the looks I share in the pictures please let me know um, because I really want to share some more pictures but I have been sick as I just said so I have not been able to film that much. I tried. I really tried my best. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this so if you look forward for next update please subscribe down below so you don't miss out. 
I will have the first update and intro down below as well. They will always be linked down in the description as well as the panning looks and my links for my social media. I do post a lot on Instagram so please follow me there. I would love to hang out with you guys and chat and yeah, learn more about each other. So I hope you will subscribe to my channel because I have a lot planned for this year. I have a lot of ideas but if you have any video requests or wishes or just a video you want to see from me please let me know down below so i can make it in the near future and then i hope to see you guys in my next video bye guys